Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Scorpio Jewel here, about to drop another random roll the dice reading. So basically, I'm going to roll these dice, and whatever sign comes out is going to get the reading, okay? We are dealing with energy here, no gender, even though I might say he, she, them, they, whatever, that, then, that, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Get in where you fit in. However, you do not, you do not try to make it fit. If it does not apply, let it fly okay like share and subscribe all right so um it's something else i'm supposed to say <laughs> i ain't did this in about two weeks but anyway here we go let's go seven libra all right we just have virgo so now we on libra all right so what's going on with that we're gonna keep it keep it the same thing here okay spirit animal oracle messages okay What's going on for the Libra gang, baby? Y'all always get the roller dice. Y'all always get the roller dice, baby. All right. Yeah, so basically I do these roller dice because I don't have time to do all the signs. So I roll the dice to find out, you know, what sign to get the message. I just go with it like that. Oh, we get three cards here. Groundhog spirit. We just got this. <laughs> Virgo. Groundhog spirit. And that was the first. Okay. Let's just get these. It's probably going to be more than three. All right. Oh, it is three. Seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. That's in the reverse. And we have owl spirit. You see clearly now. That's also in the reverse. Okay. So we just talked about Groundhog Spirit. So I'm going to read it again. It was the first card out for Virgo too. And that is, is the number 31. And it breaks down to the major arcana of the Emperor. Which is in the upright. Okay. So I'm going to read it again. <laughs> I'm going to read it again. Alright. Time to let go. The Oracle message goes as follows. Um, endings lead to beginnings and death is a part of life. So Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you. We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can, can occur. When Groundhog Spirit appears, it is a sign that there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born. Something that will far better serve you now. Okay? When the Groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good. So let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. Like I said, spring brings many blessings. That is Aries energy, the emperor, okay? Spring, Aries and Taurus energy. No, that's Aries, I'm sorry. The higher form is Taurus. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's see what you need to let go of, Libra. Okay. What's going on? What should Libra let go of? What is it's due time for you to let it go, Libra, baby? What is it? Let's get some cards for a dollar. What's going on? I love my riders. I'm just keeping with the same format since I just did Virgo. So Star wanted to pop out. What is it? What's this groundhog spirit spirit? What is it that leave it oh leave it let go of? All right. The nine of cups. And the upright, the queen of swords. The emperor in reverse. 
the moon in, in the reverse. Six of swords in the upright. Now, what this sounds like to me, baby, is that you good on your own, Libra. And that's the truth of the matter. What it is is that you know this person that you've been dealing with ain't about shit. And you know it. Emperor in reverse. The moon in reverse. And it's time to go head on. Like I say, it's time to go head on to something else. Let it go. You got all you you got your nine cups right here, baby. You are totally content, self-sufficient. You got it all going on right here. You are emotionally stable here. You know, you're you firm, you setting your you setting your boundaries, your ways, you know. You know the truth. You ain't hearing nothing but the truth. And you don't want to hear nothing else. And that's all you taking is the truth. And you standing on it. Or you need to stand on it, baby. Because it says here that you need to let it go. Let this fool go. Whoever this person is, male or female, like I said. You know the truth about it. The moon in reverse. You know it's full of lies, deceits, and bullshit. Games. This person ain't shit. They're a fucking tyrant, a liar, very unstable. They, they, no, no, no. Mentally, probably abusive and every goddamn thing else like that, too. Let that shit go, Libra. Take your ass on, okay, to karma, refreshing, and new, new, because something new is coming your way here. You heard the message, goddammit. So, go ahead on. Leave this situation alone. You already know the truth about the situation. You the one with the nine damn cups. You already set up. You, you got it together, baby. Now, okay, so let it go. Let's not, we're not going to worry about this no more. Moving right on along. Seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. That, the watch and wait. Now, and it's in the reverse. This is the number 53 breaks down to the number eight, which is the major arcana of strength. And it's in the reverse. Come on now, Libra. What's going on? Let's see what they're talking about here. We all had it. It might be hard for you to, you know what I'm saying, let that little situation go. You've probably been with that person a long time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're probably still thinking about what, what it was like instead of what it is like. But here we go. The protection message, okay? Seahorse spirit. Okay. Are you holding on to judgment? Mm -hmm. Mm, mm. Look it. <laughs> Are you holding on to judgment? Sure that your mm, sure that your perspective is the only correct way to look at things. <laughs> you think so, Libra? You think your only way is the only way to look at things? It's the correct way, huh? I know you do scales and all justice and everything, but hey, your perspective your perspective ain't always right, baby. Okay. There are. As many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea. And when seahorse spirit appears, you are reminded to detach from the experience so you can view it from more than one angle. I just said something like that over here. Like, you you know what I'm saying? You stay thinking about holding on to what things used to be or instead of accepting shit for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? What it could have been or should have been or what it was. You know what I'm saying? But truth of the matter is this person right here ain't shit. Okay. They might have treated you right at the beginning, but they ain't treating your ass right no more, okay? Look at it from a different perspective now, okay, Libra? Okay. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think, feel, and act. Yes? Mm-hmm. Are you being fair to all involved, or do you need to step back? Rise above it, take a bird, bird's eye view of what's going on here, shall we? Okay. Perhaps the drama you have been drawn into is your own. Yeah. You know, you ain't got these whole ten of cups and every damn thing else like that because you're holding on to such shit. Okay. Whatever. Whatever the actions of other, whatever the actions of others, your challenge is to be non-reactive. And not take their words or behaviors personally. Yes, that's their problem. Okay? Their turbulence may have little to do with you. So remain neutral until you know more. Your perspective may be quite different in time. You heard what I said. 
And you heard what they said. So let's see. What about this perspective do uh, Libra need to change? Need to look at? What's going on? What's this seahorse spirit? In the reverse. What's going on with the spirit? What is the seahorse spirit? Seahorse spirit for Libra, please, please. What's going on? Watch and wait. You need to look at some shit a different way now. Your view on everything ain't always the right way, man. That's what they saying. You got to look at things a different way. Open your eyes, Craig. Come on now. What we got going on here? You don't want to talk about it, huh? Because you don't want to let this shit go. Girl, let it go. Boy, let it go. All right? Knight of Swords. And it's in the reverse. Okay? The Chariot is in the reverse. The King of Pentacles in the upright. <laughs> and the Eight of Swords is in the upright. Baby, you holding your damn self back over here, like I said. Thinking that some shit is, is, you thought it was, but it wasn't, Libra. You know it, though, too. The truth is already out there, right here in this spread right here. You see what I'm saying? This Knight of Swords, this is what this person is. Male or female. They're Knight of Swords. In reverse. You seeing them as the king of pentacles. You see it ain't going nowhere. It's chaos, confusion, and destruction going on here. And you all in your head overthinking it and everything like that. No. And this is self-imposed prison here. You can get out of this. You know the truth right here. You know it. Take them blindfolds off. It's already off. Stop, stop tricking your damn self. That's what you're doing right here. Move on. Come on now. Moving right on along to our spirit. And that is uh, number 43. And it's in the reverse. And that's the major arcana of the chariot, which is also in the reverse right here. Come on now. You see clearly now. And it's in the reverse. Number 43. Let's get this work here, Libra. Quit fucking around playing yourself out here in these streets. You know the deal. You blinded by the lights, baby. Because I'm, you know what I'm getting to? Sometimes this motherfucker act like the, this king of pentacles. And then sometimes this motherfucker act like the knight of swords. Emperor in reverse, though, for sure. You hear me? Mm-mm. Selling dreams and lies, baby. Get your ass on, leave them. You wasting your time, dog. Okay? And I just also heard that you might be wasting somebody's time yourself. Every damn Libra ain't, ain't all... Sunshine and gumdrops and fair and balanced, baby. Y'all know where y'all at with it. Get in where you fit in. Protection message. Are you feeling overwhelmed and overpowered by all that you are sensing? Are you highly sensitive right now and in, inf and in information overload? Feeling too much and talking in too much stimulation. Just all over the place here. You need some balance, baby. Some groundedness. The antidote for overwhelm is to become grounded and return to your safeness so wisdom can offer you clarity and guide you on managing the flow. Yeah, I just said that. Mm-hmm. Now, take a break to ground yourself in the reality of your everyday senses. Look, okay? Go for a walk in nature. Perhaps you can stop to lie on the ground or hug a tree or just scroll down the street but what hold on or just where you at with it or just scroll down the street beneath the soothing sky so that you can regroup and clear your energy field your wisdom and ability to make sense of all you are feeling and experiencing will return as our spirit reminds you of your need to get clear see all of this ties in together here. You know, mm -mm. take a break, step back. You know, stop talking to this person, Libra. Stop talking to this person. Cut their ass off. Take a time to yourself and get your mind together so you can see what well, you already see. 
so you can stay focused and ground yourself and not be influenced by whatever this fool is saying here. This emperor in reverse, this knight of swords in reverse. No, they are not the king of pentacles. This is a fraud, a sham, okay? Got you all in your head, double thinking. Leave this motherfucker, okay? Shit. What's going on with Al here? You see clearly now. Yes, you know? Take a, take a step back from everybody. Don't even talk to nobody about it. Talk to spirit. Go walk like they said. Go take a walk. Go lay your ass down in silence. And speak with spirit. Get some clarity. Ground yourself. Sit on your porch. Take your, take your shoes off and put your feet in the ground. Libra. Get out the air. Get out your head. You know your air sign. Get out your head. And come on down. And accept things and see things for what they really are. Because it's here. You're just fighting it. It's right here. You know it right here. Queen of Swords. But you all in your head right here. All this con confusion. Not moving forward. Like how long you even been dealing with this person here? Anyway. Come on here. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a sad situation, five of cups. But look here, baby, some is better. Just like I said, ground our spirit. Let it go. Some is better. This is an illusion. This person is not the king of pentacles, okay? There's nothing to be sad about, however you are. Like I said, you've probably been with this person for a minute. you got three cups spilled over. You know what I'm saying? You still got two behind you, baby. All is not lost. You know what I'm saying? Probably five years right there. You know what I'm saying? All is not lost, okay? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Strength. And this is strength. Remember? Major Arcana, seven. Strength. And it was in the reverse. But right here, baby, we got it in the upright. Okay? Shit. Wait a minute. No. This is Chariot. The hell I'm talking about? Yeah, this is the Chariot. But this is strength right here. Number eight. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got it, Libra. Yeah, you're going to be sad for a minute. You know, not, not accepting they offer, not listening to their shit. But you got it in you, baby. You are the queen of swords, Libra. Handle your business, baby. You got it all by yourself. You emotionally stable. You can deal with it. You got it, baby. Stop fighting with yourself. Get out your head. You know the truth about all of this, darling. What are you doing? Let's well get one more card, though. One more card for Al Spirit. Take some time to yourself, baby. And this came out sideways. It's, mm, it's more so up. So, so we're going to take it up, right? Yes! The star in the upright. Yes, there is a new beginning waiting for you, Libra. Once you drop this zero, you're going to get you a hero. That sounds corny as hell, but it's the truth, baby. There is another, there's something better for you. Groundhog spirit, let it go. Okay? Watch and wait. Get out of your head. Stop going back and forth. You see the truth. You know what's going on here, Libra. You know? Yeah, you're going to be... It's going to hurt. But you got the strength in you to do it. You know? There's a bright new beginning. Hopeful. Stardom here. Success is awaiting you. Okay? So, I hope this helped. If not, sorry. Everything ain't for everybody. But, you know, thanks for spending this time with me and listening. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, I'll catch y'all the next time when I got some time to do another roll of dice. And so, you know, this is, you know, Libra, handle your business, baby. You see the truth. You see what's going on here. All right. So, love yourself, baby. Love yourself. Okay? That is the message, baby. You got something so much better coming your way.
okay? Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. I shall holler at you guys later at another time. Oh, please check out my daily uh, cards of the day. You know, I do them every morning to help you start your day in the most beautiful and positive way, okay? Hope to see you guys there. All right? Love you. Peace.